Do I have to answer that question? Well, you're taking pictures of our cars, so I feel like that's a fair trade-off. So I have to, you're saying? Well, that or you can move along and not take pictures of our cars. If you just help me out and tell me who you are, who you're working for, whatever you're doing, maybe this will go a little better. But this is just a random guy taking pictures of police cars. So my, I'm doing an investigation of my own, trying to find out what's going on. Am I being detained? You're not being detained right now. I'm so, talking to you. That's so I'm free to go? You're free to walk away. All right, so free to go, I'm free to stay. No. It's not the way it works. Hey, um, I'm wondering uh, if I can come in and pick up a complaint form or if I can have you guys mail one to me. Complaint form or FOIA request form? Uh, complaint form on a police officer. We don't do that, sir. Complaint form on a police officer. We don't do that, sir. Hey, everybody, it's James Freeman. This video shows how a simple encounter at Dunkirk, New York Police Department turned into the city grabbing a shovel and digging their grave over the next year. The story comes to us from Auditing Erie County on YouTube. This is a shortened down version of a couple of hours worth of really good footage and documentation. Links to all of these full uncut videos on Auditing Erie County channel will be in the description below. While this video will tell much of the story itself, there's a gold mine of interactions with these tyrants that I have cut out for time. I don't know, I'm all set. I'm just taking a couple pictures. The insides of our cars? Yeah. Why? Well, we're kind of story on some of the police cruisers and getting some pictures, that's all. If you've ever seen cops at a DUI checkpoint, they love shining their flashlight into your car and inspecting everything that they can see. Turnabout is fair play. We're pretty clean in there, keeping our cars clean. Slick as slick can be over here. Taking a couple photos. But what'd you say for what? Uh, just working on a story. A story? Yeah. For who? Oh, I can't tell you that right now. Okay. What's your name? It's an investigation. Okay. What's your name? Just working on a story down here. Okay. What's your name? Do I have to answer that question? Well, you're taking pictures of our cars, so I feel like that's a fair trade-off. So I have to. You're saying? Well, that or you can move along and not take pictures of our cars. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm just working on a story. I'm okay. finished taking so, some pictures. I'll, uh... So you can, you can move along then off the police property, please. I'll move along when I'm done with my police no, business. No, you're on police property. You can leave. If you don't have a police problem, you can leave. Okay? I'm just taking some photos, man. I, you know, I public, This that. is public property. I, I don't understand it's not the problem. public property. It's police property. Of course it's public property. Okay? It's not police. It's, it's police property. You know, I, I just got a couple more photos to get and I'll be out of here. Okay, so... If you just help me out and tell me who you are, who you're working for, whatever you're doing, maybe this will go a little better. But this is just a random guy taking pictures of police cars. Is it illegal? I didn't say it was illegal, but it's strange. Oh. Well, so I'm doing an investigation of my own, trying to find out what's going on. Am I being detained? You're not being detained right now. I'm so talking to you. That's so I'm free to go? You're free to walk away. All right, so free to go, I'm free to stay. No, that's not the way it works. You're on What do you property. mean? You're on police property. Our property. Police our property. property. No. This is um our property. This is a public the property. Is, these no, are the ramp is these the are publicly property. owned police cars. Just taking a couple photos. Maybe you can get a supervisor down here or something. Nothing wrong with taking photos. It's a First Amendment protected activity right here. You keep saying our, your property. This is our property. This gentleman is just going around taking photos of our cars, and I asked him a few simple questions about who he is, why he's doing it, and he's refusing to answer my questions. So Let's I take a couple him photos. We're going to story. And he's refusing to leave. I can't tell that. I can't tell that information right now. I'm just working on a story, taking some photographs out here in public. Okay. That's all. He's telling me I gotta leave. I don't. I don't see why I have to leave. It's not illegal for me to be here taking photos. Oh, it's not. It's not illegal for us to ask for identification either. No, but I don't have to give it to you. Well, you don't. You just tell me I have to or I have to leave. I uh, asked you to leave, yes. Asked you, you asked me. We have the right to politely ask you All right, to leave. well, thanks for asking, but I'm not done taking my photos yet. These cops know what they're doing. You can ask anyone just about anything. That's not illegal. But these cops know that most people, when asked to do something by police, believe that they have to do what they're being asked. 
It's a sneaky, manipulative way to get people to do things that they don't have to do. Even though they're just asking, most people do feel threatened and intimidated by police. Therefore, when they ask for something, most people just obey. More out of fear than anything else. Nothing these cops are doing right now is illegal. Just typical, everyday, department-trained bullying tactics. So I get a couple more around here. Thank you. That's all. Of it inside of my car. Here. Let's go. Let's go. What are you doing? You don't have to be inside my car. Leave. Are you a sergeant? I am a sergeant. Uh, sergeant? Yes, I am. What do you mean I have to? You, I can't. can't. What is wrong with that? You don't need to be taking photographs of the insides of our cars. Why not? Because. Is that illegal? No, you don't need to be doing the same what we have on the inside of our cars. You can please. Are you, are you guys got something to hide in there? Nope. You, hit, you can please leave now, sir. Uh, all right. You're asking me to leave, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to politely decline. I, I respectfully. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm just taking some photographs you don't, down here. You can take photographs of the outsides of the cars, and then you can leave. You guys got your body cams on? Yes, I do. What's your name? Sergeant Dietzen. Sergeant, you got a badge number or you, ID you, number, you, shield you, number? You, my name is Sergeant Dietzen. Sergeant, you, you can please leave. You me. got a name and badge number here? It's right there. 6'3"? No. 75. Oh, it sure says 6'3". Yeah, it. it's for somebody else. All right. I don't understand what the issue is. I'm just here, taking some photos. That's fine. That's cool. Excuse me. Sir. No, I'm just trying to take some photos. Yeah, here. and you don't you don't have to take photos of the insides of my cars. What What is the issue with it? What is the issue with us? What do you What do you guys got to hide in here? There's something in these cars. I mean, you keep them pretty. You keep our cars pretty clean. That's pretty cool. I like that. Where are you from? Hmm? Thanks for asking. Auditing Erie County continues to inspect our vehicles with the bullies following closely behind. Oh. He goes inside to get an officer complaint form and a FOIL request form. In New York, the open records law is called the Freedom of Information Law, F-O-I-L. Yeah, can I get a... Um Officer complaint form and a FOIL request form. I can give you a FOIL request form. The complaint form we don't have. What do you mean you don't have? What would you like to make a complaint with? I'd like an officer complaint form. Not with the supervisor. All right. They deny him an officer complaint form and tell him if he needs to make a complaint, he has to go to one of the bullies that he needs to make a complaint about. This is an age-old tactic used by departments everywhere to make sure that complaints on bad cops never actually make it into their official files. Even mainstream media outlets did a story on this tactic years ago, going into departments with hidden cameras asking for complaint forms, consistently being told that they have to talk to a supervisor and then being bullied by the supervisor into not making a complaint. Sarge, they say I talked to you about getting an officer complaint form. Okay. Can I get one? I don't have an officer complaint. What do you, how do I get an officer complaint form? What do you have a complaint about? I'd like an officer complaint form to take home. Uh, we don't have an issue to do that. We what do you mean? Paperwork to do that. You don't have the paperwork we don't to do, do it? That, no. Do you guys have officer complaint forms? No. No, never heard of one? We don't have one, no. You just don't. What, what do you do, complaint? what do you do if, it, if someone has a complaint against they an officer? They tell me what the complaint is. And then you put it on a form? It's documented. Is it on a specific form though? No. So there's no form? I didn't say there was no form. Do you guys have officer complaint forms? No. No, never heard of one? We don't have one, no. Because I'm going to foil it okay. if you don't want to give it to me. That's fine. I don't. What is your complaint? I would like to take an officer complaint form home. That's all I we want. We don't have a form to give you to release home. Why not? Because we don't have that. So a person has to come here, file a complaint with a person in person. There's no other way around that? Yes. There's no officer complaint that. forms available online, nothing like that? No, sir. Hmm. I've, I've seen this system before. It seems a little tilted, where uh, your, people are more intimidated to come get a form. Mm -hmm. So the form that you would fill out if somebody filled it out with you, can I get one of those forms? No, we don't have a form to give you, sir. If I had one, I would be more than happy to give it to you, but we do not have one. Well, Erie County fam, as you can see, this is the way they uh, do it down here in Dunkirk, New York. No officer complaint forms available to the public. 
they have um, a FOIL request for them, so we, we will eventually get that document I'm asking for. On September 2nd, 2021, a few days later, Auditing Erie County returns to Dunkirk Police Department to put in the FOIL request, asking for the official complaint form, the complaint process, the body cams of the officers he dealt with that day, and the complaint record of the cops that he dealt with that day. This is one of the reasons it's important to video document every single one of your interactions with government employees. Mysteriously, this open records request will disappear. Down here today, I submitted the FOIL request that you guys just seen on uh, second. It is the 17th. I have called down here a few times to get a clarification. They ignored my FOIL request as of so far. They have not acknowledged that there's a FOIL request pending. Um, by law, they have five days. Um, they had five, ten business days, which is a lot longer than that. So we're going to go down here and see if we, who we can talk to about it. I talked to them on the phone a few times, and they... Uh, not very responsive. They send me the voicemails and never really get anywhere, so. Can I help you? Yeah, see if I can possibly speak to the captain. How you doing? How you doing? I'm Dan. Uh, I filled out some FOIL requests for him. I submitted it on the 2nd. Mm -hmm. By law, you guys are supposed to respond to it within five days. Yeah. And then uh, it's been 10 days. I haven't heard back. I made a few phone calls down here. I don't really get anywhere more than putting on a voicemail, no phone calls back. I'm just wondering what's going on. Is there any way we could track down this FOIL request and admit that we got it and get that uh, well, admission? We, any kind of FOIL request goes through the chief's office. He, he's not here? He's not here today. Somebody, nobody in the office? Um, the secretary could be in the office, but it goes through the chief. So if he signed it or approved it, that's above my pay grade. He's the only one that would I understand that, but my point is that by law, you guys are supposed to respond to it within five days. It's okay. been 10 business days or 14 okay. um, days in total. You guys are in violation of New York State law about my FOIL request. I'm just down here to make get some clarification. So anything you can give me. I can't clarify that you even put in a FOIL request. That doesn't go through me. That goes right to the chief secretary. And the chief okay. secretary can't find, locate the paperwork and say it's here. We got I, it. I, I would talk with the chief. He'll be here on Monday morning. If that's what you want to do. There's I, no way I could talk to the secretary here and you could find out if she's got the paper so I could be on my way and I get my acknowledgement that you guys are overdue by five days by law. Like you guys are in violation of law right now. I'm not trying to be a pain in the ass, but I, yeah, I just, I, I'm just I, looking for the public records that I'm requesting. That's that, all. That's, that happens on that side of the hallway, so nobody on this side of the hallway is even know that you put in a FOIL request. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean, I handed it through this window, but... And then it goes right to the chief. Yeah, I understand. So I wouldn't know. Can we call over there and just locate the sheet and uh, find out or no? I, I can ask. All right, I appreciate it. Just to find out they have it, they can acknowledge they have it, then we can get, then we can get that five days over with. He, I, there was a FOIL request and they're calling the chief because no one, I don't, no one on this side knows what's going on. The secretary wasn't sure. He says there's nothing to release to you. He says there's nothing to release to you. So he's denying my... Yes. So now I have to write an appeal and take you guys to court then? Yes. That would be it, whatever the next step is. But that's So he's not even going to formally deny it? He's just going to ignore it completely? Is this how this is um, going to work? He said that he's denying it. Yeah, but like he said it like... That's what he said to me. Right. Right? you got to take care of that at a different level. This is patrol. But the secretary won't even speak to me right now. Well, because she's going to tell you the same thing. When were you guys going to tell me? I don't know when they're going to tell you. You're missing the point. That, that's a different above my pay grade, okay? So that's what I was told. You're captain, right? Yes, I was told to tell you that. So he has to go to the city offices and refile the records request that he already filed 14 days ago. But this time the city staff does stamp the request as received. Do you have the form done? Yeah, the form's all filled at the top that it's an appeal to the original. I, okay. I explained how they denied it by just ignoring it and violating mm -hmm. the law. Mm -hmm. um, um, hopefully we can get a little clear, clarity here and a little okay. clar then we'll, clarity from this. Okay, we'll send it to the departments that, you know, to review and sign off on. Mm -hmm. So I'll take that and time stamp it and, and it gets started in with the chief's... Um, and mm -hmm. then it goes to the city attorney. Auditing Erie County was given the runaround by just about every member of Dunkirk city staff and police department staff for months. City attorney Richard Morsey tells Auditing Erie County that he'll never get anything from the city and that he'll have to take them to court. 
and that he looks forward to arguing it in court. I understand that, and all I'm telling you is what I've been told by the chief, and I stand by the chief. That's all I have for you. So, there's no way to get a record of nothing from Dunkirk. That's what you want the people to know? That's what I wanted to know, that you have no option of getting anything from Dunkirk. Take it to court, Dan. I, I hope I'll to see papers that become the argument this one in court. Left with no other options, auditing Erie County files with the state of New York Supreme Court, just as the city attorney asked him to do. The city claimed that the reason they wouldn't release the records was that after auditing Erie County released his first video on the Dunkirk police, they received threatening phone calls and that there was a pending investigation into those threats so they wouldn't release the body cam of the day that he was there. But they don't just withhold the body cam footage. They use this as their reason to withhold the officer complaint form and the officer complaint process as well. So auditing Erie County does another open records request, this time requesting the case number for the investigation into those threats. As it turns out, the request was unresponsive because there is no investigation and there never was. The city had no legitimate reason to deny access to any records, so they were to appear in court on Monday, January 31st, 2021, to argue this in court as Dick Morris Rowe had requested. But on Friday, January 28th, the city filled the records request to try to avoid appearing in court on Monday. It would appear that Dick wasn't as anxious to argue in an actual courtroom as he said he was. Auditing Erie County's attorney filed a motion Sunday night making sure that Dick and the city he represents had to appear in person so that they could argue the city being responsible for filing fees and attorney's fees, since they forced auditing Erie County to file this action in order to get his records. Essentially, Dick Morris Rowe ended up arguing that the city refused to give him his records because auditing Erie County has a YouTube channel and that he'll post this information on there and generate revenue from advertising. For anybody who's not familiar with how the news works, almost every single mainstream and alternative news source has paid advertisers that fund their work. So essentially, Dick Morris Rowe argues that he won't release information to auditing Erie County because he's the news. The judge ended up verbally slapping the shit out of him. I don't think it was as much fun arguing that in court as he thought it would be. After the hearing, auditing Erie County paid for the court transcripts, where city attorney Dick Morris Rowe claimed that the investigation into the alleged threats was complete. Therefore, auditing Erie County went and refiled the records request for the incident number and any records pertaining to that alleged investigation. The only thing they gave him was this. Based on the city's own record response, and lack thereof, they appear to have lied to auditing Erie County and the court about an investigation that never took place. The only investigation and or report relating to this was the investigation into auditing Erie County for recording in a public place. There was no investigation into alleged threats. They provided General Order 25.2 as a response to their officer complaint process. It includes vague language about how complaints against officers should be handled properly, but does not go on to explain what would be proper handling of a complaint against an officer. The city still claims that there is no such thing as an officer complaint form, and so no such record exists. The department actually brags on one of their websites about how few complaints their officers receive. They even claim to have a clear complaint reporting policy, but to this day, we've seen nothing clear about their policy. And even getting their unclear complaint policy took a lawsuit and 155 days. But with a process like this, it's no wonder their officers don't receive very many complaints. It's not a complaint process. It's a process by which the department bullies those who attempt to make complaints against them. And based on their incredibly vague explanation of how officer complaints are handled, for all we know, they receive 100 complaints a day but those complaints never make it into officers' files. Before the judge made a ruling on whether or not the city had to pay his attorney's fees, the city reached out to his attorney and offered a deal that the city would pay $750 of his attorney's fees if he would agree to stop investigating the city. When he refused their offer, the city reached out to his attorney again, threatening to file harassment charges against him if he continued to file open records requests. He has responded by filing more open records requests. But back to where this whole thing started, still to this day, you cannot get a complaint form from the Dunkirk Police Department. Hey, um, I'm wondering, uh, 
if I can come in and pick up a complaint form, or if I can have you guys mail one to me. Complaint form or FOIA request form? Uh, complaint form on a police officer. We don't do that, sir. You guys don't do complaints on police officers? We do complaints, but they come in and either talk to their supervisor or come in and talk to the supervisor. Here's my concern. Um, I'm, I'm very worried about retaliation. Um, for me making a complaint, I, I thought that it was just a, you know, a fluke, you know, just one bad apple, but gosh, I mean, I can't even get anything put on his record without being bullied by, you know, somebody higher up. Okay. That's, that's how, that's our procedure. That's how we do it. Bullying is how you do it? Nope. That's how the, the police... You want to file a complaint that's how we do it so you're okay with the fact that that you guys are bullying me and you bully everyone who tries to make a complaint and that's why your officers have no official complaints on their records that's our procedure if you have any other problems you can contact our city attorney's office contact information for the city the police department and the city attorney's office is in the description below